and just breathe in. Breathe in. Thanks, Sam. Hi Sam. Hey. Hey. Right, we're back. Uh, part 19. 19. Okay. Yeah, part 19. On this video, we're gonna do the front disc brakes. Uh, quickly cut to a time lapse of us lifting the car up. That was magic, wasn't it? Absolute magic. As you can see, we've got the front uh, wheels off and uh, we've got the uh, disc brakes and Sam's got all the bits, we're gonna have a look. What we're gonna do today, I think, is um, we're just gonna strip them down really and see how bad they are, because we don't know the state of them, do we? It could go really well, or really badly, this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just oh, don't yeah, know, do we? Yeah. So we'll see anyway, so we'll, we'll cut to a time lapse and we'll basically what we'll do is we'll, we'll rip one side apart and then hopefully once we see how it all sort of comes apart, we'll show you how it comes apart on the other side. Mm. Well, that's the plan anyway. Cool. Right guys, so we've um, taken the front one off on the near side. Uh, as you've seen from the time lapse, we've disconnected it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move over to the offside or driver's side, and uh, we're going to show you how to do this one in stages, so you can see how it comes apart. We've uh, we've obviously discovered a few issues with this, haven't we, Sam? So again, it's yeah. We've oh. said it before. Thirty-year-old car, isn't it? So it's got it ways, hasn't it? It has. But again, this is progress. As you've seen from the previous two videos, uh, we've done. Um, the rear brakes, Sam's destroying the place. We've done the rear brakes, which um, really good now. Um, so we're gonna disconnect this side and we'll show you step by step how we do it. Love it, jubbly. Okay, so we're on the driver's side now. I've forgotten the torches. Ah, dope. Dope, I'll get the torches. They're still in the wheel arch. Yeah. <laughs> this side's so much more solid, I don't know why. Torch. I've got a torch, where's the other torch? Oh no. I've just got the one, one will do for now. It's yeah. quite bright. Right, so, back Cheers. to it. So what have we got to take off, Sam? Um, right, so first things first, we've got to release this front bit, the caliper here. This, yeah. I think that's the sliding part, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and there's two bolts around the back, yeah. two 19 mil bolts. See if I can stick the camera in to see them. See them. Just uh, there's right. one down at the bottom. Yeah. So we'll release them, then we can knock these pins through. Yeah. Release the spring on the pad, and the front bit should just all come come away, and then we can get get the uh, the main caliper. Yeah. Cool. Cool. So Sam's uh, disconnected the two bolts. If you look, plonk them down here. They were fairly tight, but we've been soaking these in WD uh, in preparation. Yeah. So what we'll do is just now. I have to apologise about the light, guys. It's quite dark in here, but there's two pins, you'll see as it sort of punches them through. And uh, as it passes the pad on this side, it just releases that... Um, it's like a retention spring, isn't it? Yeah, it releases oh, that go. spring. That spring comes out. Yeah, I'll just show it in there. <laughs> just don't get, the, uh, don't get that stuck. And then that whole thing should just come off like so. Okay, so there's the front of the caliper. Nice. Here is the brake. The brake pad. See, it's starting to come apart, but there's still quite a bit of, bit of juice on it, isn't there? Meat on that. Yeah. Meat on the burn. Nice. Right. So, now we can just keep knocking that pin through yeah. and release the other brake pad. I'll keep filming this bit, because it's interesting. It shouldn't take us too long to get it apart, really. No. Oh, there goes one. the other spring. Yeah. So they just sit behind those pins. Beautiful. So hot you go. Has it been a bugger? Come on. Oh, it's been a bit of a bugger that one, isn't it? Oh, so 
after a bit of uh, gentle persuasion, managed to get the pin on its way out. Again, this comes into like 30 year old brakes, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, I'd say 30 years, it's probably 20 years since these have been changed, maybe. So, uh, I'm just gonna persuade that out. Number two. Nasty. All right, what's next, Sam? Right, now we can get this, um, the main caliper off now. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a retaining bolt on the back, isn't there? A couple of retaining bolts. Yeah, um, there's two caps on the back, these, yeah. these little rubber caps, so you just have to... That one, let's see if you go... Uh, over it. So, just got to pop that off, yeah. and there's a... You should see... Oh, where have I got it? That will fit inside it. That is a HW10. Mm, cool. So we'll, we'll undo that and we'll get back to you. So, so we've got them loose now. So they're, they're nice and loose at the back. So what Sam's now going to do is he's going to disconnect the brake line. We're going to drain the fluid out of it anyway because we've got to replace it all because the master cylinder's come off, hasn't it? So yeah. Hopefully. There we go. There we go. We're getting all the fluid out. We're going to bleed all the brakes through anyway because we've done the rear drum brakes, as you've seen. So, oh, look at that. How much is getting out? Uh, all the lines have been pretty dry. Hmm. Nice. Right, so. Right, so that's out. Just take the little banjo bolt out. <laughs> let that. See, there's nothing actually come out of that. No, it's not right. No, it's not good. But bearing in mind, there's no master cylinder and all the other brake lines are, are disconnected. Yeah. So I can't imagine there's going to be much in there. Yeah, so what we can do now is just take that bit of caliper off. Yeah. Should be um, loose now. Sweet. Cool. There we go. So that's off. disconnected. So let's just um, drain out the caliper. That's actually not too bad, that stuff. Oh, there that we go. is... Uh, that's, yeah. yeah. A, bit of a little bit cleaner than the other side. The other side was like black, but still, it's uh, gagging out for a Good rebuild, isn't it? Cool. So that's that. What will be next? Then? Uh, that's all um, disconnected. So get it's this off now. Just the actual disc now, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. Cool. Just got to get this little cap off. Yeah. Sort of. Wiggle is free. And then underneath it should be. Oh. Yeah. Nice. A knut. That's not as greased up as the other side, is it? No. The other side was packed out of the but... So, uh, take the split pin out. Oh, that's pretty loose as well, isn't it? Oh, what a Yeah, it's a much smaller split pin, that. Yeah. Always, when you replace these, oh, don't, right. don't put the old ones back in. Always put new ones back in. Oh, it shouldn't be too tight. No, the other side was very loose. Yeah, it shouldn't be tight. There we go. Yeah, there we go. So nice. And once that comes out, there'll be a washer behind it, and then we can literally pull the disc off. Uh, once we pull the disc off, uh, we'll lay everything out, show you the bits we've done. We're not going to put them, obviously, change the bits, but we just bit. wanted to disassemble them today. Wrong one. And then we, I think we, what's the plan, Sam? We're going to clean up. I'm probably going to need a set of wheel bearings. I'll show you, show you them in a minute. Yeah. They're not great. No. Um, so, probably waiting on parts now. Yeah. That's how it goes, isn't it? You sort of discover things as you go. Yeah. So, once this is off, we'll show how it, uh, we pull the, the actual disc off itself, and then that'll be it, really, for this video, won't it? I think. Yeah, I think so. Right, so that's the washer out. Washer out. Yeah, and then really. And then is we've just got the uh, little roller bearing inside it. That's isn't the it? actual wheel bearing there, or the outer wheel bearing. Okay. So I'm able to touch yeah, it. Yeah, There we go. Look. Sort of prise it out. This is a fun bit. Out we come. Come on. <laughs> 
To be honest, it would pull itself off. Yeah. Whee. There, there we go. go. That's that. Beautiful. What's it like? Now? Okay, and then it should just. Ta da! There we go. And that's it disassembled. So we'll get everything together and we'll show what we've taken off, what we need to do, and then that should be the end. Right, so that's everything out then. So Sam's got the old disc, we've pulled that off. So we've got to then separate this hub unit from yeah. the disc. And you can see it's just bolted in from the inside with those yeah. spline drives. I've got a set at home, so I have to yeah. bring them back. Again, we just really wanted to get them apart today. Uh, the, the rear bearing sits in there, then it will bear in. Yeah. That out? Um, and the outer bearing just sits in there. Yeah, so, I mean, we've taken everything apart. I think, as you can see, they're gonna need all cleaning up. And, oh. Well, I'll show you. The bearing, yeah. tiny, tiny little bearing. If you look, let it focus. There we go. Look oh, at the yeah. surface of those rollers. It sounded horrific on there, didn't it? Awful. Well. So good job they're coming apart because that would have um, rumbled like a good one. Yeah. So it'll be a case of cleaning up now. I think you've got a kit as well, haven't you? Somewhere. Oh yeah. Up here. A nice new kit for all the spare bits. There are all the new seals, the calipers, yeah. new caps. So. Which is handy because I actually split one of these caps. Yeah. Coming apart. Yeah, yeah so. New one there. That's about it. We've had, we've had a, a little a crew today helping. I say helping, taking the mickey. <laughs> Everyone's really like, don't like to be on film. Uh, so that's it for today. Uh, that's the brakes disassembled. The next one will be probably cleaning and reassembling. Yeah. So happy. So that's it. We'll catch you in the next one. Like and subscribe, all that jazz. See you later, Sam. Bye.